Hi, Dr. Joe Spoo, the Gun Dog Doc, with your Yukonuba Project Upland tip of the day. This weekend was opening pheasant season in South Dakota, and Baxter presented this morning with a little bit of bloody discharge out of his right nostril. If you take a look at him right now, it's it's not too bad. I mean, you're, you don't notice much, but what the owners are noticing is that he's sneezing quite frequently and he's twitching his, his nose to, to favoring that right side. Um, and then occasionally there's little drips of blood that come out. And so the big thing with these dogs is to determine, is it an irritation? And so we'll see dogs that will have excessive sneezing this time of year, um, especially when we're dry uh, out in the fields and there's a lot of dust, which is not the case this year. We've had excessive moisture. Um, or did they just get some irritation up there, say pollens and things like that, which is oftentimes times the case early season. In his case, in Baxter's case, what we're seeing is the actual bloody discharge. And so we're pretty certain that there's a, a foreign body up there. And so we're gonna give him a little bit of sedation and then uh, we'll be right back with you here to, to demonstrate what it looks like when we take that out. So a piece of a stick or a stiff weed. And much bigger one for, further up. And so that's why we always want to kind of look twice to, to make sure that we're getting everything that's actually up the nose. So had we just looked at that first one, we would have missed what was actually causing this dog's great discomfort. And now I'll just kind of scan through all the little folds and crevices up there. And we should be good. So Baxter has recovered nicely from anesthesia. If all goes well, he should be able to be out in the field as early as tomorrow. Um, the only medications he'll go home on is gonna be a short course of antibiotics. Obviously the sticks are dirty. They cause a fair amount of damage going into the nose. And so we wanna cover him for any possible infections. The big thing that we wanna watch for with these dogs is continued nasal discharge. And some of them will. Uh, the, the sticks can cause a lot of damage and some dogs will end up with a chronic nasal discharge or even some, some noisy breathing. I don't expect that with him. Um, it, while it was a sizable foreign body, I've taken much larger sticks out where this looked like a, um, like a big blue stem or a switchgrass type of shaft is what we were dealing with there. Uh, but that being said, that's the big thing we're going to want to watch for after we come off the antibiotics is does he still have discharge? What's the nature of it? Um, do we need to, to investigate things further? As owners, as hunting dog owners, the big thing you want to watch for after a day in the field with a dog that's sneezing is how uncomfortable do they seem? Do they seem like they have discharge? In Baxter's case, it was very obvious that, you know, he had blood tinged discharge out of one nostril. He was cranking that nose to one side. Um, it would, uh, I would have bet all my money in the world that we were going to find the stick up there. And that's why, you know, I was kind of prepared with the video equipment and things like that. Other dogs, it can be a lot more subtle. And so if it's a dry, dusty year, um, if hunting an area with a lot of pollen. Sometimes we can have dogs that sneeze. Those dogs don't seem as much in pain or discomfort as Baxter does. And those are the dogs that we can kind of manage maybe with some saline flushes in the nostrils, uh, which we'll cover in another video and uh, get those dogs back and keep them back in the field. If they seem uncomfortable, if you notice discharge out of just one nostril, we need to get that dog in so that we can sedate it and get whatever's in there out before it goes further back or continues to cause problem and damage. And there you have it, another Yukonuba Project Upland dog tip.